Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. This series is going to be about the budget smartphone which we unboxed a few months back. I wanted to make a complete catalog of videos for this particular device but as is the case with Xiaomi, they didn't release the source code for this particular phone and that's the reason at that point of time there were no custom ROMs that were stable enough to be used as a daily driver. Fast forward 6 months and things have changed a lot for this particular device. Now right here I have two Xiaomi Redmi 4As. Both of them are 2GB variants but guess what? One is running CR Droid stable and one is running MIUI 8.5. So why are we talking about this in this particular video? Well this is the beginning of a 3-4 to four video series in which in the first video I'm going to cover how to install CR Droid stable custom ROM. It has 90% of the bugs fixed. It is as good as a daily driver and after that we're going to go ahead and check some benchmark numbers side by side between MIUI and CR Drive. and after that we're going to do a speed test. So these are the three videos that we are going to cover. Now about the fourth video I can go ahead and make it about gaming on a custom ROM for the Redmi 4A. Now let me tell you that the custom ROM we are talking about CR Droid is based off Android 7.1.2. Hello awesome people, in this video we are going to check how to install CR Droid on Redmi 4A. Let's begin. So the first things that we are going to do here is we are going to download all the required files. The links are mentioned in the description. First one is the ROM, second one is the Google Apps, third we will need TWRP. And in case you're still on a locked bootloader and you want to know how to install TWRP, uh, there's a video mentioned in the description which describes how to unlock the bootloader and there's also a video which allows you to follow a step-by-step -step guide on how to install TWRP on the Redmi 4A. So first let's go ahead and download the ROM. Now this is the link that we're going to use to support the developer who ported this ROM to our device. So. This is just for the credits that he had asked for his hard work and just go ahead and support him guys and if you really like his work you can also go ahead and donate him now that's the ROM that we're going to download all right let's keep it at a very accessible location because we're gonna have to copy this to the internal storage of your phone now the next thing that we're going to download here is google apps So we're going to select ARM64 and obviously this is Android 7.1 and you can select Nano, Pico or Micro whatever is convenient for you. Now assuming that you have TWRP installed, you just need to download these two files and copy it to the internal storage of your phone. Still I will just go ahead and show you how to download TWRP and it's very very easy to flash once you have a unlocked bootloader so let's just go ahead and see that now while I show you the steps to download TWRP let me tell you that you need to back up all your data just to be safe flashing this ROM will not wipe your internal memory but just back up all your data make sure you have more than 50% battery and in case something goes wrong just flash MIUI 8 again alright so now that I've flashed TWRP, let's press the volume up and power button. And the moment you see the Mi logo or MI logo, just release the buttons and wait for it to boot into TWRP. 
there you go now it should take you to this particular screen there you go so just press recovery and then press the blue button that you see in Chinese and it should boot into TWRP just fine now in case you're having any issues just let me know in the comments section I'll try to address them one by one also this ROM is known to have issues on the 3 gigabyte variant of the Redmi 4A so as of now I would only encourage 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage to flash it because that's what I tried on two different devices with 2 gigabytes and it works just fine now this is how I would recommend you to wipe except the internal storage and micro SD you can wipe everything else and then just go ahead and copy all the files and once the copying is done click on install select the ROM file first and then add more zips and select Google Apps Now this process will take 5 to 10 minutes to flash so please be patient I've just skipped to that part and once the flash is done you just need to click on wipe cache in Dalvik to be safe it's not a mandatory step but you may do it because it's not going to do any harm so let's quickly do that all right now let's reboot system now you can choose these options if you like and you can go otherwise as well now the first boot will take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes or less but if it takes around 5 to 10 minutes please don't panic it is not a boot loop this is the first boot which will take time so please be patient that is the reason you need to have 50 percent battery now i've skipped through the boot part because it's a really really long time and there you go once the boot up is done and you ran through the setup you have CR Droid installed with Google Apps Android 7.1.2 one of the most stable ROMs that I have used till date voice over LTE is working almost all the sensors are working camera video recording is working now Wi-Fi hotspot is not working from settings but there is an app provided with the ROM which enables you to use Wi-Fi hotspot you can also enable the voice over LTE icon and there's a ton of customizations in this particular ROM so I'm gonna review this ROM maybe tomorrow or day after till then stay tuned enjoy the ROM and share your thoughts or any bugs that you found in this particular ROM in the comment section so if you like this video like share and subscribe stay tuned to smartphone tutorials